Hello everybody. So today is just a continuation kind of sort of of that cane that I made the abstract cane. This just goes to show you how much you can get out of one small clay cane. It's amazing the projects you can get. So I'm just getting ready to do something that I have you know started to love and that is making these bangles i'm still at the point where i'm trying to perfect them as far as how i finish them off how i varnish them and i'm still trying to perfect you know getting them onto um the wood surfaces because i'm still catching issues with bubbles and i haven't quite figured out you know how to mitigate that but these two and i am going to make two in this video they actually come out okay. I did have to deal with some bubbling up, but I was able to fix it while it was still warm. And I didn't show that, and I'm so sorry for that. I was so focused on um, trying to fix them while the piece was warm that I didn't show it on camera. But I'm making my normal veneer here out of the abstract cane that I made. <music> We're going to roll it out just to make it a little bit more smooth and make the clay come together before we put it in the wonderful pasta machine. I am using my Atlas 180. It's a mod that I got from Edge Street. Isn't that a pretty veneer? I love the part when I get it out of the machine and it just comes together and the pattern stretches out. I normally just let the clay do what the clay is going to do. I don't try to control. I'm not a controlled clay artist. I'm just a clay artist who it is what it is <laughs> that's how i work it is what it is and with clay to me it always turns into something beautiful so i'm just going over the outside of the bangle with some kato liquid clay this helps the clay stick to the wood better also but i believe it also causes the bubbles I'm not quite sure, but I believe it does because I think I think there's a fine line of how much liquid clay you should put on the wood bangle. And I haven't quite got that formula yet of how much to put. So I'm just cutting off a piece that is going to wrap around the width of the bangle. And we're just going to take it and lay it down. If you have a pattern, you have to be more careful here than I'm being because you want to lay it down straight all the way around so that your pattern, um, you know, is has some symmetry to it. But this is abstract, so it really didn't matter where I laid it down. So I'm just laying it down and trying to smooth it. This is a very important part, too of not getting bubbles is to smooth the clay down um, very tightly as you go around. Um, this can be difficult to do depending on the consistency of the clay, depending on what you're trying to um, what you're trying to adhere it to. A lot of things come into play. But these round bangles are pretty easy. I haven't done one with a precise pattern because I'm not a caner even though I try sometimes but a a very accomplished caner could really make a beautiful bangle um, if you go to Teresa Salgado's channel 
she does bangles and she does them with beautiful patterns and I mean they're just beautiful one day I might get there one day when I learn how to make canes <laughs> so I'm getting it on here really good and I'm making sure that I cut it in a space where it is going to meet with the other side And then we just continue smoothing and locking it down um, until we're satisfied with how it looks and making sure it's tight around the whole bangle. And then we're gonna cut on the edges. Um, you wanna cut on like an angle on the edges so that you get a little beveled end to the clay. You don't have to do it that this way. You can do it straight, but I like to cut on the angle so that the clay that's still sticking up is kind of beveled because then when I push it down, it comes over the top of the bangle edge really nicely. And then whatever overage you get after you press it down, you just cut that off too, and it gives you a perfect edge. And just finish up, you know, pressing everything down and making sure you don't feel any bubbles in the piece until you are satisfied with um, the look of it. done and we are going to put this in the oven at 275 for one hour and bake it and this is how they both came out I am going to varnish them and take care of the inside and I will show that to you at the end thanks for watching love ya mm -hmm.